So shall twos. I really hope everyone picks up on me making fun of his voice. Because he talk like this. Um, yeah. Voice talk this like. Um. Yeah. That sounds good, yes. I, I, I go now. Good day to, good you. Day to you, sir. Alright, let's see. Ooh, Monopoly! Not quite. Alright. Good guy back there. Uh, what the fuck? A urinal? Really? Alright, Mr. Steward. Alright, let's go! Cuprino! Let's go! Welcome back, everybody! We are back! Playing Rage! So yeah, we're playing Rage. Um, every now and again I've been stopping the Fraps recording because I have a feeling if I go too long the audio desyncs because I've noticed Fraps have been doing that lately. Like, it, the game audio, you can see it's going at the right time, but my voice is going slightly afterwards and I don't like it, so I've been starting and restopping the recording periodically, seeing if that helps. I know, it's odd. It's, it's very peculiar for Fraps to be anything but magnificent, to be honest. Whoa! Alright. For that shit, you're gonna die, motherfucker. Boom. Boom. Oh god, what is that? Am I being home done? Oh my god! Fuck your bubble shield. I am going to bubble shield the fuck out of you. Dipshits. This thing's fine. It's taken worse. Much worse. Oh wow, I really thought I'd hit that. I didn't really know which side I wanted to go on, so I was sort of like pump faked a lot. Use the com box. And there we go. What? Oh, you must be one of Clayton's errand boys. All right, you just wait and we'll see what that mayor has sprung on you. Alright, let's fight helicopter. Interesting, but like the P hats from Zelda. Interesting. Oh. Alright, let's see what you have there. Put it on the counter, and we'll see what has Clayton all worried. Um... That was the counter? Oh, that was. Didn't really aim for that, but whatever. Hmm. Interesting. Felt right. Okay, I need to run tests on this. Might take some time. But you... Oh, you no. You look interesting. There's something different about you. Best I take a closer look at you, too. What? Oh, God. Just don't do that. Interesting. Very interesting. You got all those little computers racing around inside you. Secrets, secrets. Everyone's got a little secret. And you must be one big little secret. Huh. Haven't met one of you for a long time. Since working with the authority up in the city. 
You don't know how lucky you are that the authority hasn't found you. Oh, this guy's gonna be a traitor, isn't he? If the authority catches you and you don't have anything they need, you'll be dead. You are part of the old world, not part of their new world. Of course, there are people who stand up against them. Not many of them. They call themselves the resistance. Not Creative name. To have any special knowledge of them. But they exist in small bands, fighting back. And maybe, just maybe, you could be useful to them. You survived this long. You must have some survival skills worth using. But you aren't going to last long in a firefight against the authority with that standard defibrillator in your chest. <laughs> I can give you an upgrade for oh, shit. something that might keep you alive longer. But that will require a little effort on your part. You see, I don't have the necessary equipment here. But you can find what you need in the dead city. Oh, shit. Well, I guess... A well-named place, as you will soon see. Alrighty, then. In the middle of the city is a hospital. One I was proud to work in. Until the research took a decidedly twisted turn. I didn't see everything that was done there, but I heard the rumors. Now it's surrounded by a tremendous wall filled with living memories of the horrors committed there. Going there and getting back won't be easy, but without an upgraded defib, you won't last another week here. I'd say you have no choice. Sweet! The hospital is in the middle of the city. Find your way into the basement. Look for anything relating to the ARC program. That should be the place to find that upgrade. Oh, yes. I almost forgot. The only way into the city is through the sewers outside the walls. Good luck. Now go. Find that upgrade while I examine your interesting sample here. All right, let's go. I'm I'm really curious what how you can upgrade a defibrillator without you know killing yourself. Ooh. Ooh, lighting effects. But seriously though, I mean if you get a bigger defibrillator, it'll just like destroy you. Alright, let's go. Alright, um... <laughs> Statistics, we've been playing for about three hours. Defibrillator upgrade. Uh, yep. That's our quest. Oh god, I, don't, I really don't want to fight you guys today. I mean, it's real and all, but I really don't want to. Oh man. Don't make me do this. I don't want to fight. I just want to get through. Yeah, you're gonna burn in a second, and you're dead too. Boom! Oh, shit! I guess I get out here. Interesting spot to get out. Oh, oh, oh. Huh. It's it's like an open world game, but the game really isn't that open world. It's very interesting. Dead city streets. <laughs> Alright. Through the sewer. Actually, let's... Ah, I should have bought more crossbow tips is what I should have done, so I could stealth my way through this shit. Oh boy. I don't know why this wall reminds me of Battlefield. Or makes me think of it. Ah, uh, no. 
Let's try the assault rifle. 